What is up my amazing viewers, my name is Cyberlag and welcome back to another Fallout 4 small builds video. And in today's build I have for you a diner that is made within the Starlight Drive-In. And actually this isn't really too different to the um, cafe that I made a while back as a small build. But because I saw all these neons that were actually diner neons on the building that comes with the Starlight Drive-In. Which actually serves as a diner in, in the pre-war days so I said why not just do it again and anyway without further ado let's go into it now over here is just the like bar stool area I mean if you want to have something outside just get something and go this is where you would come and of course there's gonna be someone working in this kitchen right here there's a lot of stuff just like alcohol food see most of the alcohol items are here because whoever comes here normally is gonna have some alcohol and also in the nighttime I can do this and all of the shades are down. I mean, I should get the radio out of there, but you know what I mean. Even though there's no actual animation for them going up and down, it's still a cool looking uh, thing to have, in my opinion. So yeah, this is just the kit main kitchen area. This hasn't really changed too much other than the fridge that I added. The stove is already here, just added some stuff in the sink. A stack shelf because of course they need a lot of food because they're feeding a lot of mouths on the second floor and as you can see here this is the dining room of the diner there will be a re well someone to take uh, your not your order there will be like a receptionist person that will take you to your table a cedar that's what they're called okay so anyway so you have the normal stuff here that you would just uh, this light should actually be working so over here you have the coffee machine some dining plates and whatnot to go and serve these customers so you don't have to actually go downstairs every time makes sense in my opinion of course there's a bathroom the shitty bathroom and it kind of goes through the sink but uh let's just ignore that for now anyway so the actual dining room isn't too much of a big deal obviously booths and chairs a few posters and lights which i just use the same light for everything and the one thing I will do is actually cover this gap because, uh, well, you can literally see a whole man, man flag over there. And this is more Nuka Cola themed because they are sponsored by Nuka Cola. That's all it can be said about that. Also, this door here is actually the main entrance for the customers. So if you're a customer and you're coming from, most likely coming from this way, you would be coming up this staircase and go in the door. And then the employees, of course, as it says here, employees only, would only go through here and go downstairs. Now upstairs, I actually have no clue what to build. Because this is like such a good vantage point for like everything. You can see the whole city. So if you guys have any suggestions of what I should do with this top floor over here, um, you may as well just type them in the comment below and I'll see what I can do. Now I wanted to go into more specific about the roof of this because the roof, these roofs if you have played this game and started building you will notice that the wooden roofs actually do start to tend to leak a lot. So what I did is actually went up oh, shit. Okay, this is not working. Okay, so let's just Alright, so as you can see, the actual roof of the diner is one of the normal diner roofs you would see in the di uh, the Drumlin diner. So this thing is kind of not symmetrical, but then again, this is not really, this is not exactly supposed to be anyway. So when you're on this side, you wouldn't normally see that. I have to fix the flags. All of this is work in progress, people, so don't judge what you see. Anyway, so if you go this side, it, is, it looks perfect in my opinion. But as far as the Drumlin Diner, as the, I'm sorry, as far as the Starlight Diner, there really isn't else, much else to it. I mean, it's just a simple little diner build. Uh, as far as clutter on the tables, I would add some. But when settlers actually eat here, they do have their own food and whatnot to put on these tables. But anyway, that is pretty much it for the Starlight City Diner. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching it. Please like and subscribe if you did. And also comment down below if you would like me to if you would like to see some specific building of choice here. I'm currently building a what is this a city hall which you might think it doesn't really look realistic 
to the entire build. But I'll, I have lore for that, so for all you guys that are realism friendly or realism maniacs, don't worry, I got some lore for you. So anyway, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, everybody. Talk, talk, talk it to